Hey folks, Justin from Tackle Tactics. I am sitting here surrounded by diesel minnows. A lot of you will be familiar with the four inch diesel minnows, extremely popular, been around for a long time. And recently we've added the five inch and the seven inch diesel minnows to the range. So we thought it was pretty important to have a look at what jig heads best suit those different plastics and how we might fish them. So that four inch profile has been fantastic on the flathead, jacks, barra, all sorts of different species and it can be rigged in a variety of ways but generally on a 4.0 jig head so we rig it on a headlocks hd in a 4.0 or a chin locks or a snake locks in a 4.0 and that rigs nicely and can be fished in a variety of ways for a stack of different species when we step up in profile you'll see that there's a significant difference in size between that four inch and that five inch diesel minnows so we're only gaining an inch in length but we've spread out in the bulk of the body of the plastic as well. So we're gonna to have to look at what jig head best suits that larger plastic. And that five inch is gonna be awesome on barra, mulloway, big flatties, all sorts of medium to large predatory species are gonna smash that bait fish profile with its aggressive paddle tail. So in terms of standard jig heads, I've got it rigged here on a variety of sizes and I'll show you up close a few of those sizes so you can see what is best you think for your application. So on our Headlocks HD, that's gonna be probably the hook that we'll fish it on most of the time when we're not fishing weedless. So it's a heavy duty mustard black nickel chemically sharpened hook. So it's a brutally strong hook. So it goes perfect with that larger plastic that's gonna be eaten by big fish. So in terms of rigging size, that is our 6.0 jig head in there. And this five inch diesel minnows rigs beautifully on a Headlocks HD in a 6.0 hook. So you can see there we've got reasonable hook clearance. Our hook is set back a nice distance along the plastic and we've still got plenty of tail there. So loads of tail movement past that jig head. So that's the 6.0 hook, rigs beautifully in a 6.0. I've got it in a 7.0 there. Still plenty of tail left with that 7.0 hook in there. And that five inch plastic carries that 7.0 hook quite well. So for those people that are wanting to chase bigger fish or they're wanting a bit more hook clearance for chasing species like barramundi that suck that lure in and spit it out again, that 7.0 hook may be a better option for you with that bit more hook clearance and that hook set back a little bit further in the plastic. So that's on a 7.0 Headlocks HD. And I've even snuck it into an 8.0 just to see how it would go on an 8.0 hook. We've still got a bit of tail movement in there. We're still back a, we're back a fair way in the plastic, but we've still got a bit of tail there. So this five inch plastic would even carry an 8.0 hook at a push in that Headlocks HD jig head. So for those of you chasing impoundment barra, when you're looking for a smaller plastic to throw, you may look at that five inch diesel minnows with that 8.0 hook or same for Mulloway or Murray Cod where you're looking for a smaller presentation, but you want that big hook and that hook clearance, that Headlocks HD and an 8.0 may be an option for you with that five inch diesel minnows. Then we've also got the option of an 8.0 in the Swimlocks jig head. So the hook in that 8.0 has a wider gape in that Swimlocks jig head, and you can see loads of hook clearance in that again. So I can put my finger in the gape of that hook there. So we've still got a bit of tail movement in there, but more importantly, for those of you that want that big hook, or if you're wanting to add a treble hook, which you can on the bottom of that Swimlocks, you can add a, a stinger or a or you can put a treble or you can put a cyst hooks or whatever you want on the bottom of there. That 8.0 is an option. Probably better on a 6.0 or a 7.0, but you can still get away with an 8.0 in that five inch diesel minnows. So that's standard rigging on a five inch diesel. What about weedless rigging? So we've got our Chinlox SWS, which is our belly weighted weedless hook. So you can see there, we've got that belly weight and we might rig like this if we want to keep that plastic up in the water column a bit more. So we want, we want that slow roll, slow sink, and it's perfect up north around those prop roots, the mangrove roots and that for fishing for barra and that sort of thing, or for swimming over the top of weed beds where you really want to keep that plastic up in the water column with less weight and you want to make it weedless as well. So you can bump through snags, bump through weed. So on there, we've got it on a 6.0. So reasonable clearance on that 6.0, so you could get away with a 6.0 in that 5 inch diesel minnows. However, the 8.0 looks awesome. So there's brilliant hook clearance in that 8.0 Chinox SWS. We've got our belly weight to help keel the plastic and to give us that weight for casting. And that 8.0 will clear beautifully on there. So for those chasing barra or Murray cot over weed beds and that sort of thing where you want that, that weedless rig, that 8.0 Chinox SWS is a, is a winner in that five inch diesel minnows. 
and inner snake locks, basically the same thing. The 6.0, we don't have the belly weight on the snake locks because we have our removable head weight here. So you can actually get hold of these heads separately. So what some guys do is they set up their kit with a selection of head weights and a selection of chin locks hook sizes, and they just mix and match them as they require. So I've got a half ounce head here, I'll just clip it onto there. And you can see without the belly weight, that 6.0 will clear a lot easier. So the 6.0 in a snake locks will be fantastic on this five inch diesel minnows, as will the 8.0. And the 8.0 is very popular for those guys chasing bigger fish like uh, Murray Cod and Barra, and that where they really, they want that additional hook size and strength and that hook clearance as well. So that's our 6.0 and our 8.0 on the snake locks jig head for the five inch. So that's our five inch, it's gonna be an awesome plastic. Even, you know, guys fishing off the rocks, those fishing uh, beaches, throwing lures off the uh, plastics in the surf for tail, a queen fish, trevally, those sorts of things. That five inch is gonna be a great plastic. And even offshore, you know, that paddle tail on the diesel isn't as wide as the paddle tail on say the swimmers. So with a bit of weight, you can still get that down there if you're wanting to chase reef species and offshore species as well. Just up that head weight a bit and get that down there. Now, the beast, our seven inch diesel minnows. So we had lots of requests for a seven inch diesel minnows. People wanted it for Murray Cod, they wanted it for Mulloway, they wanted it for Barra, they wanted it for offshore species. So you've got that aggressive paddle tail, you've got that larger body profile that looks like, you know, it could be a mullet or a larger bait fish species. So we're gonna need a big hook in our big plastic. So for starters here, I've got the Headlocks Extreme jig heads in both a 9.0 and a 10.0. So rides beautifully on a 9.0. We're about halfway down the plastic, so still loads of movement behind that. But our hook is set far enough back there that we should have a fair chance of a hook set when a fish strikes that plastic. And then for those that want that hook set back a little further and a bit more gape in the hook, then that 10.0 is an option as well. So in that Headlocks Extreme, you're talking weights around two ounce, three ounce plus. So this is gonna be awesome for throwing off break walls and that sort of thing for big fish. It's gonna be good for offshore work. And it's be good, be also be good for those that like their swim baiting where they wanna run and gun fairly fast. They're power fishing for big fish on those heavier heads with those big hooks. So that's the seven inch diesel minnows rigged on those Headlocks Extreme in a 9.0 and a 10.0 jig head. We can also rig them on the swim locks. So these are gonna be beautiful. These swim locks jig heads are designed for fishing large paddle tails. They're designed for swim baits. The head is actually tapered down on the jig head. And what that does is that assists in keeling the plastic. So it can, helps control that big paddle tail. So the plastic doesn't roll on its side and you lose the action and the natural appearance of it. So that swim locks, is gonna be dynamite on these diesel minnows. That's what it's built for, you know? So in a 9.0, again, we've got plenty of hook clearance and we're set about halfway back along the plastic. In the 10.0, we push that hook back a little bit further and we open up that clearance, that gape of the hook a bit more. So again, 9.0 looks beautiful in it. 10.0 is gonna be the hook for chasing absolute beasts and maybe for those barra guys that want that additional hook clearance to, to get that hook up when the fish sucks it in and spits it out again. And the cool thing with those swim locks jig heads as well, they have that stainless steel attachment point that's built into the jig head where you can attach a treble hook as well. So you can attach a treble hook on the bottom there, you can run assist hooks. Some guys will even attach a swivel and run a, a blade off there for a bit of flash and vibration as well. So that's our swim locks 9.0 and 10.0 on that seven inch diesel minnows. And then finally a weedless option for our seven inch. So you know, if you do want to throw this thing into some crazy cover or run it through weed, fish those heavy snags, then the Chinlox SWS is an option for you in a 12-0 size. So it's a pretty big hook, but we're chasing big fish with this plastic. So you can see there, fish will bite that. And because even though this is a big, thick plastic, it's made of elastic. So not only is it 10 times tough, it's also extremely soft and flexible. And that's what makes Z-Man so effective as a weedless rigging option. Fish belts that clears that plastic and boom, you've got your hook up on that 12-0 Chinlox SWS on the seven inch diesel minnows. So there you go. The four inch has been a favorite for many guys. 
out there fishing, the five inch is going to be that step up in profile size for those bit bigger fish. And then that seven inch for those guys that are really chasing a big soft plastic paddle tail swim bait for chasing Murray Cod, Mulloway, Barra and other large predatory species. So there you go. If you haven't checked out the diesel minnows, check them out at tackletactics.com.au along with the full range of Z-Man plastics. And you can also find out loads more about rigging plastics on our Soft Plastics 101 series. Just go to tackletactics.com.au, go to the rigging guide section and you'll find Soft Plastics 101. There you go. All the best with the fishing.